Hey guys, Joe Bergamini here, coming to you from my drum studio once again, New Jersey, for the Sabian Education Network. Things I wish my drum teacher taught me. One thing that I get asked a lot by my students is how to learn how to solo. And soloing is, obviously there's a, a thousands of different ways and things you can do, and there's so many great players at it. But just to get started at having some ideas of how a student can solo, or how anybody can solo, uh, one of the things I like to start with is learning how to play over an ostinato. And the reason why is because it gives you a lot of independent skills that you need to play grooves and musical parts anyway, and it allows you to solo and, and accompany yourself. So probably the biggest legend at this is the great Terry Bozio, who can solo over basically almost any ostinato with any of his limbs and use the remaining limbs against it. Um, but let's start with kind of the basic approach to learning how to play over an ostinato. And what you would basically do is you take whatever, an ostinato is just a repeating pattern. So in this case, for this example, let's take a samba foot ostinato, which is in 4-4 time and it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Now, basically the way that you learn this approach, which I learned from watching Terry Bozio in clinic and in some videos, and it also appears in uh, Benny Greb's great books, um, and I have my students use those books oftentimes to learn this, is you're gonna take the pulse of the music, which in this case is 16ths, and you're gonna learn how to play all the possible permutations of 16th notes against that. So 16th notes would be, obviously, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. So if I play the 16th notes over that ostinato, it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. So basically what you want to do is you want to go through and you want to take one beat of 16th is one e and a. So you want to take all the possible permutations of one e and a. So first the one, then the e, then the and, then the a, uh, then the one e, the one and, the one a, uh, the e and, et cetera, et cetera, until you have all the possible permutations. So I'll just play and show you basically how that works. One, two, three, four. So I think I did all of them. I may have left one or two of them out. Uh, all of the 16th note possibilities over the ostinato. Now, I just did them for a measure or two. You should practice doing them in longer, you know, four bars, eight bars. And then once you've learned how to play with them and done all those permutations, then, then you want to learn how to play all of the permutations with all the remaining notes unaccented. So, for instance, if you were playing the one E, instead of just going... 1 E, 2 E, like this. You'd play the and and the uh, but, but ghosted, like this. Okay, if you were playing like the one, you'd go. So now you're playing all of the permutated, you know, combinations, all the possible combina combinations uh, in a flow of 16ths with ghost notes. So that, that would sound something like this.
And then once you've practiced all those combinations, then you can start to move things around the drums and hopefully get some freedom over an ostinato. Using the same thing, I'll just improvise a little in that manner. One, two, three, four. So once you've learned that concept, you can apply it to pretty much any ostinato that you want to learn, you know, in either triplet or 16th feel. So go to sabianed.com and check out the Sabian Education Network for more ideas.